Hi, I'm Mom, and welcome back to Tung Daily Box. Just in time for the last Tuesday of the month, the upgrade September box. Since we always have to wait way too long for any box to arrive, I'll just uh, get right to it. Since I like you to have the first view. Lovely, lovely purple. First of all, we have an envelope oops, with some stickers. The this month's battle theme, Beauty of Madness. Another sticker. Oh, that's quite pretty. Postcard and the supplies, which I always put aside because I would like to be surprised. And then ooh, a very big wrapping. Since it's purple, I'm going to open it very carefully, so maybe I get to reuse it. This is acrylic paint in wow abstract innovative acrylic soft body soft body acrylic I'm presuming paint in Chinese blue. Titanium white or white. I'll just try to pull everything aside. A wood cards with a magnet apparently to put on the fridge. It's also stamped to actually send it out, but I think this is going to be way too heavy for like regular posts. I think we also get this I know what it is because I used to have these when I was still in school these are well you you have to use them like a palette but they're actually like mixing pots if that is correct translation for the Dutch word. They are quite quite cute though. I like that they have like a lid and then you can just stack them. It's quite cute. But we also have some stuff hidden under here. Well, we also have this. A, it's also by Abstract Innovative Acrylic. But this is not soft body. This is a 3D liner in the color deep magenta mm, nice very pretty then we get a koinor hartmut in b i think that in the previous box upgrade box we got one in an h or was that another box anyway i know the brand and the, the, the pencils are <coughs> the pencils are quite good and what i really like which I'm pretty sure that I have shown before, is that it's triangular, which means that it's very easy to hold for a long time, so you can sketch at ease. And then lastly, we get three brushes in three different sizes, but they don't, oh, they do have them. I was going to say, but they don't appear to have a brand stamped on, but there is. They're by the brand 
art space in sizes 4, 0 and 3 over 0, which is very, very small. So we're going to have to work very, very detailed here. I'll just try and lift all of this out. Because I did see something else in the bottom. First of all, we get this month's print by the artist Nika Larkina. It's really cute. Also in a style, not, not necessarily that I would aspire to because this is not really my color palette, but I quite like it. It's not so much abstract as more illustrative or simplified. But it's quite cool. And even though it's not my color palette, I do like the colors. But they're maybe a little more bold than what I what I would use. We also get a leaflet by the brand of the paints. And then we get another extra plank of wood to paint on, presumably. Hmm. Or I can use this to swatch on. It is quite sturdy. It's rather thin as wood planks go, but it's quite sturdy. I can't really bend it. Maybe just a little in the edges. Anyway, enough talking. It's watching time. As anticipated, a B pencil that works just perfectly. Very, very soft, although the point is a little off center, so I'll have some uh, correction, correction, correcting to do when the first time when I have to sharpen it. But this is my preferred hardness, so I'm really happy. Next, not a lot to swatch. nonetheless important that we do. First we have the titanium white which shows up quite well on this ivory colored paper. I'm making two swatches. One was with a slightly wet brush and now I'm putting down a thicker layer to see how opaque this can get. But this is quite good. And it is very, very soft, so it hasn't stolen its name. Next, also first with a wet brush, Chinese blue. They might as well have called this turquoise, as far as I'm concerned, but it's really, really pretty. Whoop. As you can see, the difference between using a wet brush and just using the paint straight. The difference is quite clear, but it's not a difference in color intensity, for, for which I'm very, very happy. And I might even add already that the brush not only works perfectly, but also washes out quite easily, which is something to keep in mind. And then lastly, we're going to use this 3D liner, which I'm presuming is going to be a little more puffy. The needle tip is quite fine and you really do get a, a thinner effect than I anticipated. Though I am going to 
make a blob here and see how much I can rub this out with a brush. First a little dot with a wet brush. This is a little bit more transparent than the other paints. Or maybe just my brush is wetter than it was for the other paints. Because if you use it thickly, it is quite opaque. But the texture of this paint is unbelievable. I don't want to diss any brands or, or other subscription boxes that I have, but this is really much more the texture that I like. And the reason that I usually prefer gouache over acrylic, because gouache is so much softer to work with, but this acrylic is absolutely fantastic. A very big difference with the heavy body acrylic that we got in the, in the previous box. Again, not to diss on the box because the colors were quite pretty, but these are so much smoother and equally vibrant. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with working with these. Some final thoughts. Really, 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 really excited. Obviously, it's not the best result because I'm not used to working with wood. And now I'm thinking that I should have gessoed it before I started painting on it. But the paint that we got was a dream, a charm to work with. It was really soft, laid on really well, dried quickly, but not too quickly, which is one of my main issues with paint. The colors are really beautiful. Even the white, even though I thinned it out, it was still quite opaque. So you get the texture of the wood through it, but not the color, which is pretty nice. So um, 
quite happy, not quite happy, very happy. And once again, one of the things that, since we got a very limited color palette, I'm probably going to spend a lot of money on expanding that color palette just because I like the paints so much. Nonetheless, I had great fun working with these. It was a very quick painting because I'm actually a little pressed for time, but that's not really relevant. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it because the, other, the only other thing that we got was a pencil, which were perfectly, the brushes also worked really, really well. They especially cleaned out quite easily, which is very important. Not so much for aquarelle, I think, but especially for acrylic paint, since once it's dry, it's really difficult to completely remove all the paint. But since this dried not so very quickly, I was always able to wash out the brushes before I put on, before I use them for another color or for another layer of paint. So, um, yay. But um, for now, it's going to be goodbye. Bye.